Good evening, Mission Control. Well, tonight we are going to do the first of probably many experiments to figure out optimum lighting conditions for aquaponics uh, underneath the shelving units here. So what the game plan is tonight is we're, we've got mylar sheeting here, and we're actually going to be putting uh, some trays up. Let me show you that. We're going to put three sets of trays here, and then we're going to take our light sensor and we're going to measure right underneath of here. And this is going to be real world. So we're going to see how much light there is right now today with light outside. Uh, and then we're going to take this mylar sheeting and we're actually going to put it underneath and we're going to measure how much light is being reflected uh, by the mylar and see, we should see a difference. If the mylar is worth doing, then uh, the light that's here right now without mylar should be less than the light that's over here once we put mylar on. Then we have our LED light, and we're actually going to do the same thing. We're going to set up trays up here, and we're going to measure where the trays are at, and then we're going to uh, measure, uh, put the mylar on, and we're going to measure where that's at, and we should see a significant difference. So let's get started. Okay, right now, this is our photosynthetically absorbable radiation, or PAR, uh, meter. And standing outside the lane, right where I'm at, as a control, we're at 24.7 uh, on average. So kind of see if you can see it here. That's a little different right here than it was over there. So you can see the sensitivity as I move. So here we go. Take that reading again. The sun's moving. So 26, 26.4, 26.5, 26.5, that's going to be our control outside. Now we're going to move it in, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 10, 6, 5, 5 micromoles per meter squared per second. 5.7, 5.7. Okay, so there is light underneath is 5.7 micromoles per meter squared per second underneath the real world conditions with no mylar. So now we're close to the LED light and our outside here is 22.4. We're gonna start moving in 21, 20, 19, 18, that's shading, 14, 12, seven, five, four, we're at four. Four micromoles per meter squared per second underneath uh, the real world conditions close to the light. But if I get underneath the light, just to show you the difference here, we're at 20, 22, 20, 21, 26, 34, 44, 87, 89, 100, 128, 146, 191. So uh, directly underneath the light, we're at 200, 200 micromoles per meter squared per second. And as I move out, 140, 193, 73, 53, 47, 34, 25, 22, 18, 16, there we go, we're back to basically control. So it's about 10 inches off of each side, uh, which is what the math, if you take the tangent of this angle here, you're gonna get about uh, 20 inches total that it's gonna cover, and sure enough, the math actually ends up being right. So now let's uh, put some mylar up. And see how that works. We just uh, tacked up the mylar temporarily, uh, and uh, if you didn't know, I'm really excited about mylar because, uh, like, I used to be, you know, in the Air Force, I worked on spacecraft, and mylar is used to help deal with a lot of thermal issues up in space. So, it's kind of cool that we're on the Real Martian channel and we're using spacecraft fabric uh, to help with our lighting and heating potentially. 
So let's go again. Now I'm gonna take the controls uh, measurements again because the light has already changed. So we are at 18 micromoles per meter squared per second. And we're gonna move in 16, 15, 14, 13, five, four, three, two, this is not looking good, one. Go down, I'm gonna go down to the very bottom where the plants are at, and it's at three. So that is two micromoles less, but there's less light out here, so we'll have to do the math after the video and see where it's all at. Uh, so, because uh, there should be, hopefully there's more light in general, but it doesn't look that way. So here we are again. 17.2, 16, 15, 13, 12, 10, 7, 5, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2.4, 2.3, 2.2, .2, so that's 2. All right, over with the light. 15, 13, 11, 8, 5, 3, 2, Three, four, five, five. Four, three. So that's more. Okay, now I'm not going to go directly under the light. My hand's purple. I'm going to go off to the side of it. It is. 17, 16, 15, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, Seven, eight, all right, so we're, yeah, basically eight. And now going into the light, Nine. 10, 12, 14, 17, 21, 31, 53, 87, 128, 162, 212, 244, 205, 150, one, there we go, 166 directly underneath the light. What do you think about that? So awesome. Josh, you have an idea. I was just kind of wondering uh, what the difference would be uh, for light dispersion if we pointed the light up at the mylar as opposed to putting the light down and trying to catch the reflection that way. That's a good question. Let's see what we got. Something like that. Yeah. So it already, can you see that on the camera? So it already can see the light instead of being just straight down now is definitely distributed more. So let's see. Now I'm gonna try to measure it the same way I was doing. So my back was this way. So we're at 13, roughly 13, 11, 12, 12, 11, 10, 11, 10, 12, 11, Okay, that's right or 20. All right, so let's try it now uh, at our, our points of measurement that we had earlier. So uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 2.3, 2.5, we'll call it. That was there. Here's my next measurement point. 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, roughly 3. We already did this spot right here, right? But we'll do it again. Uh, roughly, a, that's like 10 and a half. 9, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10. And down, we're at 10. So that's way more than 20 inches, right, than was the original with a lot more power. And then as we get closer, 12, 18, 22, 35, 44, 50, 55, 67, 72, 70, 78, 70, 40, 40, 40 down at the bottom. I think if we went straight up, yeah. so we would have to drop it down to get a good measurement. Yeah. Want me to go over there and look at it? Huh? Drop me to, not just the camera. 
Yeah, I just saw that right there. So, Abs, you want to show them right here? Take the camera and point right here. Can they see that flap coming down? So here we have a flap of mylar and it's dropped down. So this is a curious thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in originally with the uh, sensor pointing towards the light. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 13, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, it's right in the 17 there. Now I'm going to go in the other way. 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. You're definitely getting reflection, huh? 6, 6. 6, flip it, 16, 19. That was a good idea, Dad. That's a great idea. Daddy. So the reason this is a really important thing for us to figure out is that these lights uh, are about $50 a piece, and right now, based on 20-inch spacing, we would need seven of them just for this one bed. And each light takes uh, 0.6 five amps, I think is what we figured out last night. Uh, so, what is that, that's uh, 4.2 amps, and that's just for one bed. We have five beds here, so that's gonna be 20 amps just for the aquaponics beds, and we still have microgreen beds to go. So, uh, and that's just one lane, so we have four lanes at 20 amps, that's 80 amps just on aquaponic lights if we have to uh, uh, put that many there. So we really want to find a way to maximize light reflection and to bend as much light into this bed as we possibly can, taking advantage of the natural light that will be coming in from uh, the new cover and getting it down here. So that's why the modeler came in, is that it will bounce light back and forth in there and also help keep some heat in because it does reflect heat. So it's going to be interesting to see how this thing all turns out. Way more light throughout the, the rest of the bed there. I okay. see what the difference is. Okay. We're just angling up from the bottom here. Alright, so we're going to go with our same measurement points. The light's changing in the building quite a bit, so our control is now at 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 2. Flipping it one way, the reflection is at 2.5, so there's definitely a lot of light coming down here. And then straight at the light is at 5. And then reflection off the top is at two. Back in. Our control is at five, four, four, three, two, 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 two. Trade at the light. I'm in the plants. That's at nine in the directly at the plant. So the plants will be getting light here. And then back at the reflection is at two with two going straight up reflecting from the top. Closer to the light, we have five, 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 four, five, six, nine, ten. Reflecting, it's at two, and straight at the light is at 34. And then our, this is our last measurement. This one will obviously be highest. Five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine's reflecting from the top. You have two reflecting from the far side, and 68, 70 coming off the light with that angle. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to have to go in and do the math, but I, I'm thinking right now two lights, one on that end, one at that end with mylar on both sides to reflect it. So again, the good thing about this setup is the mylar, once we trim it and put everything in, actually helps retain heat as well. So heat rises and we'll stay in here. Uh, and then if we have the sides, we'll actually create a nice little cove for heat. And the light reflecting will help us reduce that quantity of light from seven lights in here at $50 a piece uh, and 0.6 amps. Uh, down to just two. So that's a significant savings. So we're gonna have to go inside and crunch some numbers. And see. Yeah.
Okay, so uh, Martian Mission, Martian Minion Abby here gets full credit for this one. How old are you, Abby? Nine. Nine? Okay. Well, this is your science class for the day. So um, if we took this light, pointed it this way with the reflection, and then got another one and put another reflecting uh, section down there, what would it look like? That's the question, right? So there we go. It's slightly aimed up. And here is control at 4.5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12. Okay, that's straight up. And now reflection is at 8, and straight at the light is at 26. That's a great idea. Is that good or bad? That's good. One more time with uh, a little bit more of an angle on it. Okay. Hopefully my mom could tell me. Well, you bounce. So get out of doing I think you actually want to get the 45. Yeah, I think you had it right. Yeah. The first time. So if we have a uh, that 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 is really good. Yeah. So let's uh, try to show you kind of what this looks like. Let's go mobile. See if I can get it on camera. Okay, Josh, you want to go ahead and uh, mess with the angle there? Now, everybody watch right here and watch as the light changes. So, there we go. That's, what, almost straight up? Straight up is right. There's right. straight up uh, reflecting where the bar, there we go. They're straight up. Okay, now go ahead and start to angle. That's like 30 degrees. There's 45 degrees right in there. So, at a perfect kind of 90-ish type of angle, it may not be 45, but the idea is the same, uh, that a, a right angle to it, we're getting maximum reflection, and then you got the back side there reflecting as well. Definitely worthy of going in and checking this out. Okay, so the purpose of tonight's video was just to establish uh, some parameters, so I'm going to go inside, we're going to crunch the numbers, and I'll show you what the results were as far as the relative changes between the uh, control with the uh, boxes on top and then we put the mylar on. We did not put the uh, uh, trays back in here because the mylar is blocking out all the light that would be blocked out normally by one of these trays, just in case you're wondering. So uh, I'm going to jump inside, we'll do the calculations and see how that all goes. What are you doing? I'm a monkey. You, you're a Martian minion, not a monkey. Yeah, we're Martian minions. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, inside we go.